Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a long-time Mac user, you've probably noticed something weird in the latest macOS Tahoe, the hard drive icons in Finder. They're different. Gone are those shiny, detailed depictions of old-school hard drives or replaced by flat, minimalist symbols like an Apple logo for internal drives. Why the change? And is it for better or worse? Today, we'll dive into the history, the reasons behind it, and what everyday users are saying. Let's get into it. First off, a quick visual tour so we're all on the same page. Back in macOS Sequoia and earlier, your internal drive showed up as a sleek, 3D-looking hard disk. You know, the classic silver cylinder with a green light, like something from the 90s. Externals had a yellow tint, removables were white, and network drives had little people holding hands. It was skeuomorphic, realistic, and detailed, mimicking actual hardware. But in Tahoe, released late 2025, everything's flattened out. Internal, just a simple Apple logo on a gray square. External, a USB plug icon. Network, a globe. Removable, an arrow pointing down into a box. No more shine, no more depth. It looks clean, but to many, it feels off, like Apple decided to sand down the personality. So, why did they do it? Let's break down the main reasons based on how Apple's design has evolved. First, realism doesn't match modern hardware anymore. Think about it. The last Mac with a spinning magnetic hard drive shipped around 2021. Today, everything's SSD, solid state, no moving parts. Those old icons were celebrating tech that's basically museum pieces now. The new ones ditch the old cylinder and go abstract, focusing on what the drive does instead of what it looks like. Internal gets the Apple logo to say, this is your Mac's core. USB for plug and play externals. Globe for worldwide network access. Arrow for eject me safely. It's all about clarity, especially for new users who never saw a real HDD. Second, it fits Tahoe's overall UI vibe. Apple's been on a flat design kick since Big Sur in 2020. Skeuomorphism, that hyper-realistic style from the Jobs era, got phased out for something simpler and more consistent. Tahoe doubles down. Softer curves, less shadow, unified motifs across the system. It's the same reason save icons aren't floppy disks anymore in most apps, though some holdouts persist. This change makes the Finder feel more modern, less cluttered. No arbitrary colors like yellow for external, just intuitive symbols and it reduces mix-ups. The old network people holding hands was cute but confusing if you didn't get the metaphor. A globe instantly screams connected. Now, here's where it gets real. What do Mac users actually think? From forums and discussions, opinions are all over the map. Nostalgia versus practicality in full swing. On the positive side, plenty of folks love the update for its smarts. The new icons are way more intuitive, they say. That USB plug? It screams, plug it in, way better than a generic drive shape. The arrow reminds you to eject properly, cutting down on accidental data corruption. And for the internal drive, ditching the fake HDD feels honest. No more lying about spinning platters in a solid state world. Newer users especially appreciate it. If you've never dealt with old hardware, the symbols make sense right away. It ties into Tahoe's minimalist aesthetic too. Everything looks cohesive, like the icons finally grew up with the OS. But let's not sugarcoat it. There's a ton of backlash. Many call the new designs cartoony, flat, and just plain soulless. Where the old ones had depth, shading, and that premium Apple shine, these feel like cheap clip art. The external icon? Some say it looks like a wonky restroom sign or even an upside-down gesture you wouldn't say in polite company. The network globe? mistaken for a contacts app at first glance. And the internal Apple logo on what looks like an external case, totally backwards. Critics argue it's part of a bigger trend, unnecessary tweaks that affects the UI, breaking the harmony users loved. Remember how Catalina to Big Sur felt like a downgrade? Tahoe's safer, but these icons still sting for anyone attached to the classics. It's like Apple forgot the charm of those detailed renders. They weren't perfect, but they had soul. Historically, this isn't Apple's first icon shakeup. Go back to Leopard in 2007, installer disks were round, mimicking CDs. Fast forward and Tahoe makes them square to match the flat era. Hard drive icons started as realistic nods to the hardware of the time. But as SSDs took over, about 20 years ago, the disconnect grew. 
Some apps are already moving on, like using a box with arrow instead of save for floppy. Finder's just catching up. Still, the frustration echoes older complaints. Why fix what ain't broke? Especially when the old setup worked fine for decades. Some users even delay the upgrade altogether, sticking with Sequoia until Apple listens or until the nostalgia fades. Wrapping this up, the hard drive icon change in Tahoe is classic Apple, bold, opinionated, and divisive. It's a push toward clarity and modernity, ditching relics for symbols that match how we use drives today. But it trades charm for simplicity, leaving fans mourning the gloss. Whether you see it as a smart evolution or a flat-out mistake, it's a reminder. UI tweaks hit different when they've been your constant for years. What about you? Love the new icons or ready to customize? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Sequoia holdouts, Tahoe converts, all welcome. If this sparked a rant, like the video, subscribe for more macOSD dives, and hit the bell.